Precise mitering and fitting a very small and fragile trim can be difficult and dangerous. Even fine toothed saw blades can damage the pieces and require fingers to be too close to the blade. But by combining the easy and accurate angle settings of the EB3 with a sanding disc in the table saw, fragile trim and moldings can be quickly mitered and fitted with minimal effort and risk. The process starts with the parts cross-cut square and slightly oversized. Then the EB3 is set to 45 degrees and a light grit sanding disc installed in the saw. One end of each part is sanded to 45 degrees. Then the opposite end is sanded and light cuts taken from it until the part is perfectly fitted. This cross-band mahogany inlay is very fragile but the sanding disc can quickly miter it with no damage. Working with small moldings is just as safe and easy, even when the pieces are as short as these. The angle settings on the EB3 are so accurate that with symmetrical moldings, it does not need to be reset when fitting either end of a 90 degree joint. Non-symmetrical moldings, like this cock bead, do require the EB3 to be set to 45 in both directions. Again, the parts are cross-cut slightly long and one end of each is mitered as before. Then they are each fitted in turn, working from the opposite 45 degree preset. Because this cockbead molding has a rabbet on one side, a scrap is used to hold them straight as the miter is cut from that face. The accuracy of the EB3 presets ensure that the moldings fit just as well as those done from one side only. By taking advantage of the EB3's superior accuracy and the smooth safe cutting of a sanding disc in place of a blade, you can quickly and accurately fit small and fragile moldings and inlays without undue risk to the parts or to your fingers. You can find more great tips for getting the most from your Osborne EB3 on our website, www.osbornemfg.com.